Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Conan Exiles. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just carved out a little spot for us in this wild expanse of the exiled lands, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, but, have not actually made ourselves a proper home yet. So I'm going to break down a few things that are sitting nearby my house. Just so I can make that set home. And... Come on. There we go. We have our fire with food. Might as well pick up the food and then pick up the wood. Because we only need that. Okay, and then chopping down trees for more wood, because we will need a lot of wood. We'll need a lot of wood, and we'll need a lot of stone, depending on what I make. Well, there's that. Alright. Some of the trees can give vines, some of the trees just give wood and branches. These typically just give wooden branches, but some of them can give vines. Oh, and I'm over encumbered. I figured. Okay, well, that means I am carrying just enough, possibly. <laughs> That's a bug. <laughs> That's a bug, but it's a useful bug. I'm carrying just enough, possibly, to make my home. So, with that in mind choose a foundation. How much do I have? I have a lot more stone than I do wood. But not significantly more. Let's go with sandstone foundation. Build this out of stone. Now, this is the base ground level that I could do with building. Or I can crouch down and increase the height of it to make it a little higher. Which I kind of want to do. Mainly because it puts it above the uh, surrounding foliage. And makes it so grass doesn't peek out from the floor and make it look gaudy. So, that looks good. And ta-da! And now, as I make more, they will attach to this frame. I don't necessarily have to point it in the same direction, but it, you know... It's nice to have it all looking the same. So there we go. We go with four or five. I kind of want to say five. And yeah, let's go with five. Five wide. And I gotta be careful because I will run out of stone as I make more. In fact, I already am. So let's work on. Whoa! Hello. You weren't here. <laughs> that was something. All right. Sometimes the game has uh, funny little quirks like that come out of nowhere. I've never seen a shell back in this area ever, so I was kind of shocked to see that. But hey, could have been worse, right? There we go. bits of stone and yeah I think that's good enough as we continue building our little home here alright good alright Doing pretty well for ourselves, I think. Also, you gotta create a home. Well, I mean, that was an option, yeah. Wasn't necessarily what I meant to do, but hey, it works out. Uh, campfire. This isn't too close if I... Okay, good. It isn't. Fantastic. Alright. Um... 
It's a little poorly placed, but otherwise, it's okay. Actually, you know what? Let's put the uh, entrance of... Wait, what's... Oh, that's a fat grub. Oh, that's good. Fat grubs are good sources of food as well. And eat all of that. Fantastic. All right. Okay, we're doing pretty well. I'm going to make a set of stairs to go up this way. Not enough resources. Crap. Well, at least luckily I can return these to inventory. It looks like they're being destroyed, but I'm just returning them to my inventory to place elsewhere. Luckily, I can easily do that, as opposed to just destroying them forever. Which was, unfortunately, what used to happen. Whoops, that's the wrong button. There we go. I need more stone. Of course I do. I will always need more stone if I'm making a stone house. There we go. I need to stay away from them, because they will probably kill me. Over and over and over. If I get anywhere close to them. But then again, so will that other exile camp over there. So, if I start running out of places to get stone, I start running out of places to uh, continue making my home. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Alright, whoops. Missing a few of those. There we go. Alright. Get this one here. Oh, it broke. That's also a thing you have to make sure you're doing. Take care of your equipment because it will start to break. Quicker than you would think. And quicker than you would hope as well. There are ways to make it last longer, but for stone weapons, it's... Stone weapons and tools, it's not really worth it. In the slightest. Nope, not gonna work. Uh, sometimes I try, and it doesn't work. But, it, you know, worth a shot. More fat grubs. Nice. Alright. And I guess we can continue going this way with it getting stone. Good. Alright. And technically there is this direction. I completely forgot. And I'm over encumbered. Okay. Then that means I am good to continue. I'm gonna make a sizable home. Not massive. Sizable. You know. Since I'm allegedly a civilized man. Allegedly, according to Conan. I need to provide for myself in the style in which I am accustomed. Because <laughs> that is how it works. Alright. Um, there we go. Just for some uniformity, all the same direction. Lovely. Alright. 5 by 4 not terrible. Not terrible at all. Good. Alright, and with that, I can stop focusing on the foundation and start building walls. The question is, what kind of walls? And should I focus on the doors first? Yeah, let's do the doors first. And then the walls. Good. Put a door here for reasons that we will get into later. And put a door here, just so I can walk out and see the beach. And I have it in the wrong direction. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Because the wooden frame has to be facing inside the house. There we go. Alright. There we go. And we're doing good. I hit the wrong button again. Ah! Okay, uh, let's eat this, just so we're fully sated for now. And I need more stone. Of course I do. Uh, of course I do. <sighs> it's, it's a 
constant fight for supplies, really. If you're uh, building things. If you're going to build a big old house like I'm trying to do, you always need a lot of building materials. There we go. Alright. Doing good so far. Yeah, I figured, I figured I would eventually become overburdened. It's fine. And this bug helps me get back faster. There we go. Which is always the main goal. There we go. We're good. And now I can stop focusing on doors, because I've made all the doors I'm going to make. So I will get rid of that. I will, however, add on the window variety of wall. And because, you know, it's so pretty in this direction, just have them next to the door. See? Now I can get to see outside all I want. See how pretty it is. All right. And with that, I'm done with that too. All right. Get the walls made up. All right. And we're almost done with this side. And now this side. Walls complete. Now I need to focus on a roof. It won't rain in this area. It very seldom rains outside of a certain biome. But might as well grab a bunch of these because I'm going to need these for the actual roof I will be making. And there we go. Beautiful. These trees... I realized earlier in the last episode I didn't get to talking about it. Some trees will give out vines, and this is the kind of tree that gives out vines. Why am I focusing on vines? Well, you know. I'm a millennial. <laughs> I miss them. <laughs> uh, TikTok is a shallow imitation of vines. Hashtag fight me. <laughs> Hashtag don't at me. Oh boy. I'm I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble for multiple reasons. Okay. Now that I've made the doors and the door and the walls and all of that, time to focus on stairs. I could go wood for flotsam stairs with rails, but since I'm sticking with the stone theme so far. I'm going to go ahead and do this instead. And I can just walk in. And instead of a drop like that, I can just put the stairs in. And ta-da. And then walk out. Ta-da. See? All good. Now, I needed a whole bunch of plant fiber. And I think I have plenty of sticks. Because the next thing is making roof pieces can make the corners easily enough, and that's something I definitely should do. Get rid of that. Because the corners are the most annoying part of making these damn things. There we go. Haha. -ha. There we go. I want I want it here. Damn it. There. Thank you. And the corners are now done and that is finished so i can get rid of that don't need to focus on that no more actually don't need to focus on the walls no more I can get rid of that too and next we make the double brain broke for half a second next we make up the sloped roof 
which I apparently do not have enough plant fiber to finish. So it's going to take a little bit more plant fiber gathering before I finish this up. But luckily, there's plenty of sources that are outside the range of these guys. Alright. There is a quicker way to gather these, but unfortunately it requires a uh, scythe, and I do not have, rather a sickle, I should say, but I do not have the capability, nor the equipment and uh, resources to make one. So, we just have to gather it by hand. That's the only option afforded to us so far. This is just a temporary home. But it is at least a home. So. It's still useful to be building it right now. Oopsie. There we go. Get some more plant fiber. Good. Try to stay outside of their view. One would think they'd be able to see me from here if I can see them, but no, they just don't care about me doing my thing here. There we go. Alright, and I'm sure this needs, and that needs a little repair. We're doing good. We're doing good for ourselves right now. So let's continue making some sloped roofs. Is roofs the proper plural now I think about it? Is it roofs? I don't know. I don't know. And quite frankly, it's outside of my uh, pay grade. <laughs> Completely outside of my pay grade. Alright. Not enough. I run out of branches or no I ran out of out of that oh, of course I did alright ran out of plant fiber I always will run out of plant fiber even in the later game I end up running out of plant fiber a lot quicker than I expect it's so easy in the later game to make it too or at least get it alright Walking around. Oh, that crocodile's back. Well. Once I get more plant fiber, I will go after the crocodile again. Or it's going to come after me, regardless. Balls. Okay, well. Okay, that's right. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, got me. Got me good. Yep. Tried to lunge, but it didn't work. Ha! <laughs> Heavy finisher. Alright. I haven't realized I hadn't done that yet. There we go. Beautiful. And I ended up completing another one of crippling an en enemy. Blah, 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 blah. I was about to say enemy. That ain't right. Okay. So, let's actually make that tool that I had put on the back burner for a little bit. And get a skinning knife. There's a reason why I'm doing it that way. I'm also going to make one of these real quick. Get Put that in my inventory and then put that in my inventory so I can put the skinning knife in the right spot. There we go. And then put that over there. Good enough. Skinning knife here will allow me to get other materials out of corpses. I can still get some feral flesh, but I also get hide and fangs this way. Might as well throw the feral flesh, the little bit I did get, into here. And... Yeah, that should be fine. Throwing that much in there. That's good. Cook that up. And ta-da. Oops. <laughs> I get off that so I can put it on. 
Okay. Oops. There we go. Put that there. I'm gonna put this away so I don't keep doing that motion every time. There we go. Now we're not blinded by the sun. And ta-da. Now I just need to fill out this top space here. Which is semi-easy if you know where to go. So, since I know where to go, let us make sandstone ceiling. There we go. And we get rid of that, and we start placing this in this direction, because why not? Oh, I don't have enough resources. What am I running out of? Stone. Of course. Of course it's stone. Why am I surprised by anything less? <laughs> okay. Find shelter. Well, I made it. I made shelter. I made it all by myself. Finding shelter really is once you get that bar full up of shelter right there. Shelter means you are protected from the outside elements, including the storm that can cycle through. It'll actually, actually by now, it should have been cycling through. Now I think about it. Huh. Anyway. I need to get more stone, so I'll work on that. But, at the same time, I should be putting some points into some of these things. There we go. Got encumbrance to five. Get strength to five. And vitality to five. Why not? Put some into survival as well. Good. Beautiful. Alright, and let's see. I could make fences. Fences would be useful. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. Could use a torch. Torches are good. Ah, here we are. Some of the more advanced tools. We can make furnace and blacksmith's bench, and then use those to make iron and steel reinforcements, and a casting table. Then we have the carpenter's bench, and we can make iron tools, which is a thing we don't have available to us yet, but can soon. Actually, now I think about it, I should just uh, learn that. There we go. And then learn the tools. Okay. And now I can make torches, which is good. Because I'll need them. Oh yeah, stone, stone. I need stone. I, I was getting too wrapped up in thinking of what I need to do for what and where. Really, I just need to focus on getting more stone. Because there's no point focusing on everything else if I don't have a proper house built. And... There we go. Good. Doing good. Beautiful, in fact. And I think I can still technically break this one. Even though it's technically in some of the world geometry. <laughs> I can still get it that, and that's good. Alright. And we'll break this one up here. Good. Alright. Now let's finish up that ceiling. Now, the color of the building pieces. I'm also focusing on building, so give me a second to think of words while I build. Uh, there we go. 
The color of the outline of the building piece before you put it up determines its structural stability. Now, uh, I've made it just wide enough that it's kind of pushing it with those, but I can make structural pieces to ensure that it is stronger by uh, putting in little pillars like this. I could do that with this, but it's really not big enough to be worried about right now. It's kind of... It's, it's sizable for a starter home, but it's not necessarily, like, going to be structurally weak in any capacity if I don't add pillars. So I'm just not going to bother. In the future, though, in the future, when I make bigger houses than this, oh, I will. I absolutely will. Now, when it comes to doors, I need a lot more twine. Oh, look at that. I have my first iron stone. Grayish chunk of stone that can be smelted to obtain iron. Which is something we will do soon. But for right now, also, I need to make a wooden box. Because I do not have enough room to keep holding onto these things forever. And I need more fiber for that, too. Uh, of course I do. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, onward we go to obtain more plant fiber. There we go. As long as I'm obtaining more and more plant fiber, we'll be good. Uh-oh. One of my things uh, converted into putrid meat. Uh-oh. Didn't need to eat for a long time. So, uh... Some of the stuff will convert into putrid meat, unfortunately. Worker bees don't, which is nice. Um, there is a possible use later for putrid meat, but for now it's just not useful to have that in my inventory. So it's just taking up space at the moment. I will, I will use it in the future, just not now. See, almost everything has a use. Almost everything has a use in a way, shape, or form. The question is... How quickly you get there. And you know what? These guys are peaceful. I'm just gonna... Take the fiber from here. There we go. These guys are fighting another creature. I don't know what they're fighting. Oh, they're fighting a crocodile. Well, no wonder. Makes sense. Alright. I'm going to walk back because I think... Oh, some of these respawn. Nice. Helps me. <laughs> Helps me in what I'm doing. Sometimes they'll respawn quickly. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes all you have to do is sit there and pray, and then, soon enough, they show up. Alright. That's a rabbit still, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a rabbit. Okay. Alright. Now that that's done, I need to make that box. Pretty sure I have enough twine to do that now. Or at least more capability to make twine. All right, and torches. I can make plenty of torches, in fact. So I can make a bracketed torch to provide some light, which would be nice. There we go. Could put this right... Here. There we go. Good enough. Let's put that there. That there. Storing goods. Another mission objective. 
for some reason. <laughs> All right, we got plenty of stone. Actually, you know what? I don't need the wood here. And we'll put this leather journal over here. Right here, in fact. There we go. And eventually... Actually, you know what? I'm going to put some of these away here right now. At least the stuff that won't expire. There we go. That should be good. Eat some of that. Eat some of this. And we're good. Oh boy, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. Alright. So I might as well put that torch up. Oh, it's only a normal torch. They didn't finish. It's occasionally a bug as well. They didn't finish making the bracketed torch, which is what I wanted. There we go. Bracketed torch. Eh, that's good enough. That way I can at least have light. There we go. Now I can at least see a little bit inside my own home. It's not a lot, but it's enough. It's enough for me. So I can make another one. Might as well do that and hopefully it doesn't break again. Doesn't. Good. Good, 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 good. Alrighty. Might as well go get some water while I'm waiting on this to finish up building. Good. And put this yep, a little too far up. There you go. Decent spot. Decent enough, anyway. Once I get more sunlight, then I'll be able to place them more effectively. And in places that don't look bad. But, for now, this is good enough. Yeah, you would think having the torches that close to a ceiling made of plant fiber and wood would be bad. But no, not really. <laughs> not really at all. Uh, well, this is coming together quite nicely, this little home. Can't complain. At least not right now, anyway. Uh, let's make some more torches, huh? Alright. One more, and one more. There we go, perfect. Let's see, let's put it right smack dab in the middle there. Smack dab-ish in the middle. Ah, ah. A lot of this is just finicky work. But, there we go. A little more light there. A little more light here. absolutely necessary? No, but does it make me feel better? Yes. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's take these down. Not the frame. I want torch. There we go. Take these down and place them in a better spot. Which would be right here. Actually, I need to get rid of that thing. Uh, there. Better. Okay. Put the torch here better and eh, that torch needs to be moved a little to the left I keep expecting it to be put there but it's not and I'm a little annoyed that it's not but it is what it is alright and good better okay putting light in the home also, when it comes to kicking, it's just the left trigger. It's absolutely necessary. If you're going offensively, that definitely puts them on, you know, the back foot, as it were. And then using attacks, that's the lunge, which is the first heavy attack. 
Second lunge, and then a sweep. And another sweep. It's that last one that did the uh, crippling blow to that other crocodile, which there's another one there. Basic attacks are pretty basic. A bunch of sweeps. Just lunge, lunge, sweep, swipe. Sweep, swipe. Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> that's a word choice. I like that, actually. Thrust, lunge, sweep. It's basically those last two that do the crippling effect. And these don't do any effects. They're just basic damage. All right. Well, there's enough of that. <laughs> now that I've shown off the move sets. Um, hmm. I'm starting to wonder what else I need to do. Because I already have all my basic needs met. Oh, the bed. That's right, the bed. I almost forgot the bed. I almost forgot the bed. All right. Well. Sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I'm going to need you. A little bit. There we go. And... Get a little hide flesh. Hide and flesh. That's what I was going to say. Not the thing I said. Alright. Uh, there's that. Click that. And we're good. Perfect. Eat that. Keep us topped off. And we're good. The hide... You might be wondering why I got that and why I killed the poor little rabbit. Uh, so I can make a rawhide bedroll, which is necessary to have a spawn point where I'll put it. I'm thinking over here. Once I get it, there we go. Looks like this. Not terrible. Definitely doesn't look like it came from a rabbit, but it's not terrible. Put it right here. And I have a spawn point. So if I should die, which is likely, <laughs> very likely, I will... Shut up, Xbox One. I will have a spot to go back to that isn't the desert. Because that is a thing. If you die in combat, you can either go to the desert to start all over, or your bed for bed roll or what have you. You can have a bed and a bed roll. You cannot have two bed rolls, but you can have multiple beds, as far as I'm aware, that won't destroy should you choose another bed, as far as I'm aware. Again, I say, I don't have any experience with that, but I know that with bed rolls. I don't have that with beds. So, there's that. Uh, with that bed roll placed... And a weapon here. Use a torch. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Technically, I guess I haven't. All right. Um, improvised torch, huh? Well, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not as good as a normal torch. In fact, you know what? Because it's not good as an as good as a normal torch. There we go. Aha! It's kind of unnecessary in this time of day, but I've at least gotten that knocked off. Equip a piece of light armor. That is something we'll end up having to do, but for right now, we've got the Exiles camp right here. Well, one of them has a stone spear, and one of them has a stone greatsword. Oh, time to fight! Oh, jeez. Okay, this is where it gets... Bad. Oh, jeez. This guy has range, so I have to take him out as soon as possible. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I know that. Don't have to tell me. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Ow. Alright. Well. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I'm starting to wish I'd done some things. Okay, now I've killed him. That's good. So I just need to focus on this guy. You 
you picked the wrong fight. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can deal with this just fine. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. Woo! All right. So we've now shown you how the combat is like, and uh, how brutal it can be. Alrighty, I am covered in blood. Some of it mine, some of it theirs, but I am still covered in blood. Now that I've cleared out this little area, I can at least reach some of the things that are around here. Honestly, there's not much here. But, I can now at least get these resources, should I need them. At least for now. They do respawn much like anything else. But, it does take them a while. So, if I wanted to, I kind of do, not really needed, but I can just take these supplies now, now that they're gone. But, yeah. That is combat with other humans. Basically the same as with uh, animals, but, you know, humans are a lot more capable of killing you. Which they almost did there for a little bit. Alrighty. Put that away as well. And... Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty injured. I'm pretty badly hurt. I should, uh... Drink some water. Because this will... Act as its own healing. Being full up on my... Food and water. Which I should be. Yes, I am full on both. So the healing will eventually start taking place. <laughs> Key phrase, eventually. Um, now that I've done that... Uh, hmm. The bandages... Mm. Actually, you know what? I have the ability to make some bandages out of the fiber I already have. So I might as well do that. There we go. Make some rough bandages. And heal myself up. Now this obviously takes some time and it doesn't heal a lot of my health. But, you know, it does enough. And at least if I'm not in combat, it's a very useful way to reheal myself. Especially if the food and water is taking forever like it currently is. There it goes. And the other thing that was next to the bandages, this bottle here, is aloe extract. It's extract of the aloe plant. That can heal me up basically by drinking it. But there's downsides. Obviously, uh, as it is with bandages, if I get attacked in that, the healing stops. Same with uh, same with the aloe extract. If I get attacked while it's healing me, the healing stops. So I have to do it at an opportune time. But with the aloe, it's a lot quicker than it is the bandages, which is the main upside. So, with all of that... And my home more or less settled, other than the door, which, you know, I should make that, actually. Now I think about it, I should make a door. Uh, I needed twine. That was why I needed the plant fiber, because I needed to make the door. But I can at least, like I said earlier, use the resources around that one place to make other things if I absolutely have to. Which I will. That will always be something that's necessary. So, now that I've proven to myself I can take these guys out, now I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, not having access to these resources. Alright, so door, let's put that there. 
Yeah, there we go. That's good. And making another door with a whole bunch of twine. Honestly, I should make just a whole bunch of twine myself. Just so I don't have to keep doing that whole song and dance. There we go. Ta-da! I have a door! And it'll auto-close as well. It has an auto-close feature. If I'm away from it for long enough. Come on, door. Don't make me a liar now. Come on. <sighs> of course. Tom's Law. Always in effect. Hey, there it goes. All right. <laughs> That, that takes care of that. A baby shell back? Where's a baby shell back over here? Weird. Okay. Well, I still need to collect more plant fiber, as usual. But, it'll be because I'm making twine. A whole bunch of it. There we go. Put that over there. And... Just constantly collect more plant fiber. Because twine is very, very, very much a needed component of almost everything. So, you know, be aware of that. If it's not plant fiber, it's twine. And it's only in the, like, super late game that it becomes anything else other than plant fiber and twine. But <laughs> it, it takes a while before you get to that point. So, I think I have shown basically all the mechanics of the game so far. At least the ones that are available to me right now. And later on, we will get to finding more of the story. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and doing what I can to make our nice little home a little nicer. Well, as much as I possibly can. And, uh, just, uh, getting ready for the sojourn we will eventually have to take. Uh, it will be mainly this direction-ish in a little while. It, it, it'll take a bit. But we might end up having to go this way, too. Mainly to set some of the theme, more or less. But I'll have to double-check where we need to go. But we will be getting there soon for you.